After the ban on the use, importation and supply of plastic bags in the country in August 2017, the government and manufacturers have been contemplating on how to deal with the issue of plastic bottles. According to Environment and Forestry Chief Administrative Secretary Mohammed Almi, creation of job opportunities through manufacturing, collection and recycling of plastic bottles is the key reason why the government has not banned the bottles. And they are creating incentive for it. It will create jobs, it will also uh, remove the, the waste from there. What we are asking for is that all the players, uh, the principle is that the polluter pays. So the people who are manufacturing them must be involved, come together in trying and create incentives for taking back those bottles. Elmi said this during a stakeholders forum on production, collection, transportation and recycling of plastic bottles. The forum drew more than 500 industry players, among them Digital Blacksmiths Company. Digital Blacksmith is operated by a pair of youth who collect discarded plastic bottles and recycle them into microscopes. The entire process is complex. <laughs> We chop them to small pieces. These small pieces are called flakes. So once we have those flakes, we feed them to a drying oven. We didn't just want to do any kind of products, but products with specifically social impact. So the first thing we went out to print is a digital microscope. And what we have here today is the educational version of it. So it's made of a wooden platform and then the rest is all recycled PET plastic. This digital 3D printer is what the duo used to convert the recycled plastic bottles into microscopes. Marveling at what the printer could do, we had Solomon design a mimic of KBC logo and print it. We, have, we are doing a pilot with schools around uh, uh, Babadogo area. And uh, the response from the schools has been great. They want their microscopes. The reason that they want to use the microscopes is because with these microscopes, you can be able to visualize uh, and you can be able to teach a wide, wide pool of students. Solomon, however, says they are not making money out of this innovation, which is still at the pilot phase, although their products are being used at some of the schools in Nairobi. We are thinking of contacting KICD so that with them we can be able to work around more better products that will be envisioned, will help um, in the new curriculum. So products will be like a tangible telescope that a student can actually work with it. Despite plastic being non-biodegradable, it's not all doom and gloom, especially if the government and manufacturers and all stakeholders will join efforts and support initiatives like this and turn trash into treasure. Brian Itava, Channel One Business.